Welcome to Sacred Wandering with Kira Brinton. My friend, this is a corner of the world where time stops, where the noise in our minds quiets, where we have soft hearts and we open our palms and we ask. This is a place where we receive. I invite you to join me as we wander through the sacred together. Welcome to Sacred Wandering. I want to invite you to come sit with me, to stop for just 10 minutes of your day, to find a place of peace, to find a place of rest, to quiet the mind. And just breathe for a second. There's so much noise that happens in our life, but there's so much noise that happens in our mind. Doubt, fear, shame, guilt, all of the human tendencies that seem to want to drown us in the sea of life. And even though we don't want them, and we want to push them away, they're like the, the weights at the gym. Like they build muscles. They build resistance inside of us to be able to become stronger. It's only when we don't move against them that they overtake us. So today, if you have doubt or fear or shame or guilt just pulsing through your body, one, Just breathe in and know that they are never true. The lies that we hear are never true. And the way to know truth is to meet with God. This is the way to remember who we are. One of my very favorite stories is You Are Special. It's a children's book. And it's the story of a wooden village where all the people in the village were made of wood. And those who were shiny and beautiful, they would get star stickers. And the more star stickers they had, the more star stickers they would get. But if their paint was peeling or they didn't have any gifts or they weren't talented, they would get dot stickers. And the more dot stickers that they got, the more people would put dots on them. And so those who were beautiful and talented would always be covered in stars. And those who were not were covered in dots. And there was one little boy named Punchinello. And he was always covered in dots, always. And he would get more dots and more dots. And one day he met a little girl who had no stickers, no stars and no dots. And people would try and put stars on her and they would fall off. And people would try and put dots on her and they would fall off. And he went to her and he said, how? How did these stickers not stick to you? She smiled and said, every day I go up to the top of the hill. I want you to go with me today. So he went with her to the top of the hill to this huge house. And they went inside. There was a large man. And she introduced him, said, Punchnello, this is Eli. He is our maker. He is the carpenter who has created all of us. And every day I come and I sit with him. And he reminds me who I am. And because of that, no stickers could ever stick to her. And that day, Eli sat with Punjanello and cleaned him off and reminded him of why he had been created. And as he left that house on that day, a sticker fell off of Punjanello. This is one of my favorite stories because throughout the day, We're going to be attacked with fear, 
with doubt, with shame, with guilt. We're going to feel less than, we're going to doubt what we do. We're going to doubt the inspiration that God has given us. We're going to fear what will happen if we do it, if we follow the inspiration. We're going to fear that we are not enough and we let other people's judgments and words stick to us like stickers. But every day as we come here to the top of the hill to meet with our maker, the stickers will fall off. The doubt will dissipate. The fear will clear out because we will remember who we are. Because when we sit with God, we sit with truth. And fear and doubt are never truth. So I want you to just breathe this in. Breathe in the peace that every morning you sit in truth. And every morning you have the opportunity to receive a message from God. So that you remember who you are. Now today I'm going to read you a message that I received. And as always, I want you to listen for the message within the message to find the message that you need. Here are the words that I received. Marvel in the truth of who you are. You are moving through every hurdle beautifully and quickly. Embody your whole self the healer, the intuitive, the miracle worker. Embody the whole. Let me read that again. Marvel in the truth of who you are. You are moving through every hurdle beautifully and quickly. Embody your whole self, the healer, the intuitive, the miracle worker. Embody the whole. Mm. I invite you today, when we drop into asking for our message, that you ask to see the truth about you. Not what you think about you, not what others have said about you, but for you to receive the truth of who you are. So I want you to just take a nice breath in. We're going to breathe in this golden honey into your heart to soften it, to break down the walls that have kept God away. Allow you to sit with God now. And opening our palms, we're going to ask to receive and I'm going to ask to receive that you may hear the truth of who you are. That you may see yourself as God sees you. That you may know yourself as God knows you. Whatever you see, whatever you hear, whatever you feel, whatever words come out of your hands, place them in your prayer book so that they may come to this earth. Now, as you receive, I'm going to be quiet to hold the space for you.
I want you to take a nice deep breath in, allowing all the words you received to rewrite the cells in your body to remind you who you are. Read these words often. Read them on the days that doubt wants to drown you. Read them on the days when fear feels as though it will certainly take you out. Read them on the days where you want to be your truest, most whole self. And every day, as we come to the hill, every day, as we meet with God, may we remember who we really are. And I want to thank you for wandering into the sacred with me. And I will meet you in our prayer corner tomorrow morning. My love, thank you. Thank you for joining me in my prayer corner. Thank you for being a seeker. Thank you for being willing to have a soft heart, to open your palms, to ask, and then listen. But may I remind you that it is better to not ask than to ask and not do. So as you meet me here in the sacred, as you build your muscles of receiving, my invitation is this, whatever you hear, you do. For it is in the space of deep faith and inspired action that we call forth miracles. And may we create the sacred here on earth through the miracles that we bring.